Good day, it's Tony Fortunato from the technology firm. Today we're going to use Wireshark's Edit Cap to split trace files and uh, hopefully this will help you out when you have those large unwieldy trace files. Enjoy! Let's talk about large trace files. And as I said here in the slide, on many occasions I capture way too much data or not knowing how much data I was going to capture and I end up with large trace files. These large files sometimes cause Wireshark uh, to behave very cumbersome because they're big files or just the processor and memory on my machine can't keep up. So it makes analyzing quite the task. If somebody wants me to email them the file, it makes this even more difficult because it's pretty hard to send a 400 meg trace file to somebody. So how do we deal with this? Well, number one, we can create a display filter with our, our current packets or a trace file and save just the filter results. So if you're lucky enough, you might have a 100,000 packet trace file and after you filtered it, it might be down to 20,000 and obviously the file is smaller and things are easier to send back and forth. The problem with this is you might lose important data. So, um, you know, there could have been DNS calls and you've just filtered on HTTP and now you've, you've lost that. So it's a little risky, if, but if you know what you're doing and you know what's in the trace file, that's a pretty good tip. The second thing we can do is chop up the trace file into smaller files and you can do this by time or by the number of packets. The problem with this now is you've got many smaller files to manage, which in some cases may be just fine. Lastly, we can slice the packets to a smaller size. So instead of looking at the full size of the packet, you might chop it up to say, I don't know, 128 byte packets. By doing so, now you've got all your data, but you've only got basically the header information. So any payload data you may need is no longer available. So a login name or password might not be in the trace file depending on where it is in the packet. All right, let's create some smaller trace files based on time. So my trace file, the current trace file I have, it's a three minute trace file. I call it 3min. Pretty unique. <laughs> How original. And this file ended up being about 398, just call it 400 meg, rounding it up. And I've got over 400,000 packets in this trace file. So I'd like to split up this three minute trace file into many 20 second trace files. In, in reality, you probably don't want 20 seconds, but it's just for the purposes of illustration. So from the command prompt, I would type edit cap dash i is the interval and 20 seconds. So I'd like a 20 second trace file. The input file in is 3min.pcap and the new files will be called 20secs, 20 secs.pcap. And Wireshark will of course add on a bunch of other stuff, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, numbering the files and the year, the month, the day, the minute, second, so on, so on, so on. So it's this is just going to be the, the prefix of the file. I also wanted to measure how long this took. So as always, I created a batch file, you know, Tony and his batch files, and the batch file was called 20sex.bat. So in the batch file, literally I have CLS to clear the screen, prompt, dollar, uppercase T, and uppercase G, and that's going to be the time and a greater than sign. So now if you look at my prompt, it's the time and a greater than sign. So basically I've just built a stopwatch. It's going to just show you the prompt, which is the time, and I can see when the command was executed and when it was done. So basically I have my edit cap, and what I didn't put in here, which I did put in the batch file later on, was a DIR, directory command. So the edit cap command was done, and then DIR was ran also so I can see how many files were created. So for example, in this case, it took over five seconds to create these nine files, so pretty quick. So the example we just saw created smaller files based on time, 20 seconds. In this case, I'd like to chop them up based on number of packets. So same deal, same trace file, 3min.pcap, that 400 meg trace file or 400,000 packet trace file. And the command is going to be uh, just slightly different. It's edit cap dash C 10,000. So I'd like 10,000 packets per trace. The input file is still 3min.pcap. 
and the output files will start with 10,000 underscore PKTS for packets. And again, Wireshark will add on the rest of the dialog you'll see here automatically. And again, I want to measure how long this took. So the batch file again hasn't changed too much. CLS to clear the screen. The prompt again, just to make sure the prompt is the way I, I like it. So edit cap, just like I said before, and the following command. And this one took over a minute, but it created 41 files. So considering the amount of work it did, that was actually pretty impressive. And if you take a look, 10,000 packets in this case worked out to be, I don't know, just say under 10 meg. So again, just a, a nice way of chopping up this big trace file. In this example, we're going to create a smaller file by a slice, a packet slice. So basically, we're going to take the first, in my example, I chose just a random number of 128 bytes. So I'm going to take the first 128 bytes and we're going to save just that. The rest we're going to discard. So this is a little different than the first two examples. Uh, we're just going to end up with one file. It's one file, but it's only the first 128 bytes of the packet. And again, I just randomly chose 128. You'll find that as you do your application analysis, you'll find what slice works best for you. So again, same original file. And here's our syntax, edit cap dash S for 128 bytes. Input is 3 min.pcap. And the output file is gonna be 128, the uppercase B underscore slice.pcap. Now in this example, Wireshark will not add all those 001 and all that nonsense at the end of this because it's just one file so don't don't go looking for that big long string of stuff I also want to measure how long this took so again I did my little batch file it's pretty well the same type of stuff as before clear the screen prompt with the time and the greater than sign edit cap the command we just looked at and in this case it took only four seconds to take that 400 meg trace file and create a 49 meg trace file. So again, it's, it's really quick and works great. So 49 meg for some people might be a lot more reasonable uh, as opposed to 100, uh, the 400 meg, pardon me, original trace file. Tony Fortunato is thanking you for watching Wireshark's edit cap and how to split files. Hopefully that helped you out in the field. Enjoy. Have a good day.